What is the best way to learn editing? Hey Sven, welcome to Avid's Burbank office. Thank you for having me. Is it through watching YouTube videos like this one? Or is it through film school? It's not very often you get to see Emmy Awards, Ace Awards around. Avid has been nice enough to lend us an edit bay. Nice. Where editor Stephen Mark is in there. He cut Deadwood, he cut uh, the X-Files, and Hell on Wheels, and now we're going to work with him a little Or bit. is it through simply doing it? Oh. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. What if the answer is none of the above? Well, I'm about to meet with Stephen Mark, ACE award-winning editor, and he's part of Edit Mentor. It's a unique and potentially groundbreaking new way to become a better editor. We want to trigger those mirror neurons in the audience. And yeah. That's what keeps them captivated. Yeah. Stephen agreed to reveal three critical editing concepts that are part of his course. Who are you? And what is Edit Mentor? I then get to talk to Kara, the director of education for Edit Mentor. Edit Mentor is an interactive, gamified teaching tool. Who turn these lessons into interactive challenges for the students. Directors wouldn't print everything. They would print the takes that they thought were the most useful. All right, so we're going to start this challenge and we're going to place a marker on every circle take for this scene. And at the end, you'll get to find out for yourself if Edit Mentor is the ultimate tool for you to learn how to edit better. Gather up. You too, Nicholas. So I'm dealing here with a short film called The Dishwasher. It's a story about this fellow named Nicholas who's a dishwasher. He's given an assignment and the short film follows him as he tries to accomplish what he's been asked to do. I got a job for you. See, to make these tacos next level, we need good tortillas. Do you think you can bike to Sunset Park and get back in time? I mean authentic tortillas. That's some mass-produced McDonald's bullshit. Yes, I understand. I can do it. So. That's Our Story is based on a script that I thought was a really good example of a simple story because I think ultimately all editing is storytelling. Okay, let's bring you up to speed for a moment. This short film was a festival hit winning the prestigious Tribeca Audience Award and is now available on HBO Max. But it wasn't edited by Steven originally. He recut it for you guys in Avid and what you see here are some of the changes he did. Along with the student challenges that Edit Mentor created from his experience and findings. Now let's get back to him. There's a very good moment right here. Gather up. You too, Nicholas. Right there. That's a good example of a storytelling moment. We hear the chef arrive in the kitchen, and we hear him calling out. Gather up. And Nicholas remains focused on what he's doing. He doesn't pay any attention because the chef coming in and out of the kitchen, that's his pattern. Yeah. That's what he expects. Then something unexpected happens. The chef says, You too, Nicholas. And the editor cuts to Nicholas swirling around, and we can see, again, it's a good performance. The reaction is where you tell a story. This is us watching him as voyeurs. But this shot, when he turns, you too, we're in his head. It's a more internal, subjective shot. Yeah. The more you invest as an audience in this character, the more powerful his responses to new information are for you as an audience. Por qué te estás matando tanto por ese tipo? Quiero ser más que un lavaplatos. We want to trigger those mirror neurons in the audience. That's what keeps them captivated, yeah. right? And that's the job, keeping the audience captivated. Now, you may be thinking, this is very cool, Sven, but this guy is a professional editor and these things come naturally to him. But I'm a newbie, so how can I learn such skills? Well, I'm glad you asked because that's where Kara comes in. So my name is Kara Fries. I am the director of education uh, for Edit Mentor. Edit Mentor is an interactive, gamified teaching tool to teach students the art and the literacy of video storytelling. Why learn to make your next great video by watching a tutorial? When you can learn by doing. It lets you interact with the videos that you're watching. So you might watch a video or read the lesson text, and then you actually get to actively do that thing. And it gives you immediate feedback instead of just, you know, passively watching a tutorial and then struggling on your own, trying to figure it out. One of the tools that a narrative editor has is the line script. 
as the footage is being shot, and action. there is a person on a crew called the script supervisor who's going to be keeping a record of what's been shot and what each shot covers. The uh, script person actually generally is the one who assigns the scene names. Here's the first page of, of the scene that we saw earlier. And it usually cons it consists of two pages. There's the script itself. Then there's a facing page which gives you more detail about the shot. And these lines will indicate the slate name and the script it starts where it ends. You can see there's a straight line and a squiggly line. The straight line is what we saw. Nicholas, he's dressed in black, he's scrubbing and spraying. Then she's put a squiggly line right. and she's saying that nothing that's in the text there is in this shot. You hear it, Gather up. but they're not seen in that shot. Then there's a facing page, scene one, which is the uh, scene that we watch the dailies for. It's described here. And I can see that over here, one starts at the very beginning of the movie and goes down to you too, Nicholas. And this is exactly what we saw. You too, Nicholas. So I can look at what else I have here. There's a shot they called 1A. This is kind of a typical American way of uh, naming slates. The first shot of scene one is going to be called one. Then the next shot, and this is called the coverage, where you shoot the same material over again. They'll, they'll give it a letter name, 1A, so you have eight takes of that. Interesting that they have that. eight takes of that one. The, the actor who played the chef had an interesting time trying to create this character. <laughs> Got it. You're killing me, chef. Time to put on your big boy pants. The proof of what, what I have to work with is always going to be the footage. Now, let's take a look at how Edit Mentor turns lessons like this into interactive challenges. All right, so this challenge is in our Understanding Lines scripts. What we're asked to do with this one here is watch the string out of what your options are of takes from scene 12, camera setup J, on the timeline. And based on the facing page, place a marker on every circle take for the scene. And we actually provide the documents for this film as well, so students can actually click and see the line script that we're talking about. And so as you can see down here in the timeline, we see that they are in shot order that they were recorded 01, 02, 03, 04. Or five and so scene 12 we're looking for three five and seven and then nine through 13 so you can just sort of play yeah, and watch all of it uh, all right or you just add a mark. That is three, five, seven, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. You can hit submit answer, eight out of eight. Yeah, I really like this whole lesson on the script notes. I, I mean, I learned this at AFI when I went to film school. So it was a great refresher to just like, okay, what are the, the, the scribbly lines? And uh, when yes. is something on camera? When is something off camera? Nicholas, I'm checking in to see where you are. It's 6.30. Brennan's picking up shitty tortillas from the bodega, so you can come back now. Okay, buddy? I don't know why you're not answering. There's pots everywhere. There's no fucking counter space left. I need my goddamn dishwasher. Is it or is it the shots? No, I've been When I watched the film that, as it was put together, I had a sense that there was another way to do that scene differently than they did. So here we meet Nicholas having, in his moment of defeat, what we're supposed to get from the point of view of the writer is that these are, quote unquote, white hipsters going to a party. My expectation would be I would have his point of view of these white hipsters wishing him a happy Cinco de Mayo. But we're missing that aspect of the story completely. Yeah. And there's nothing to do about that, right? Because there is no shot. So then he comes in between these two fellas. This is the first time we've seen faces, and I'm not feeling that any irony thing coming from this particular shot. I'm seeing so little of them, they could very well be Latino. Now we're on his profile, and we do get, as he looks to his right here, that he's seeing those people. Girl with the braids, he's a little bit Nordic looking, right? But what does it mean to Nicholas? If we want to communicate the idea of, of, what the, the, of what this party is, is this the strongest shot to do it? So my feeling was 
not that the story is not told here, but that I felt like maybe it could be better. Yeah. And so with this challenge, what we're asked is to using the ripple delete tool. Here we have the exact scene that Stephen was just talking about. Remove the shot in the timeline that we only have Nicholas pushing into the crowd from the profile angle, and then watch the edit to see the difference. I'll actually ask you, which one do you think we should remove? <laughs> well, it's pretty obvious. It's the second to last shot. Exactly. Uh, and this is what's amazing is like this, you guys really build an editing software. Can you just hit delete or how does it work? So you can either come over here to our tools palette, which has, yeah. you know, a lot of the typical tools you would see. We have our trims, our deletes, we even have cuts. So you can either click this button or as you can see where it says there, shift delete, and it will That's remove that you, shot. Yeah. And okay. so now you can see we have Nicholas walking in. <laughs> We no longer see the face of those two guys, but instead yeah. have more of a profile. Oh, the one thing too that's great is we have hints. It says here, we want to remove the shot that shows the two extras clearly in the frame, which might cause confusion for the audience. So I'll hit submit answer, an awesome job. We do not lose any important story information by removing the shot. In fact, we enhance the story to guide the audience on a journey that is closer to the writer's original vision, which builds to the irony at the end of the scene. And then we have view all possible answers, which right here, we only have one, obviously, but you can see here, it kind of highlights what the right answer is along with that scene. And we have a challenge too, that was, it's called getting started. This lesson will introduce you to the Edit Mentor interface and interactive tools used to teach the art of storytelling. Because we realize a lot of students come into this and they have no experience with an NLE software. I gotta say, I'm intrigued to make my own course on there. <laughs> yes. We would love that. <laughs> Turns out I actually did do my own course on Edit Mentor. And as luck would have it, you can join right now. I'm proud to announce the official launch of the YouTube Kickstarter. As you may have noticed, I am completely addicted to making content on YouTube. No other platform allows me to tell any story at any length. And if I do it well enough, find an audience without a studio, network, or boss telling me what to do. But Here's the key. What your video is about is almost less important than how you tell that story. And I've learned so much about editing, storytelling and filmmaking by actually applying what I know from being a professional film editor to YouTube and then adapting. So I've worked with Kara and the team at Edit Mentor to build a brand new interactive program. I challenge you to test your storytelling skills that you need to be a solid and authentic creator. Don't just listen to me share my best principles, but apply them immediately in interactive challenges so that the learning really sinks in. For a limited time, we're gonna make you a special offer. Get both Steven's editing course and my YouTube Kickstarter for a special price as a bundle. Click the link in the video description. Thanks for watching and happy editing. Even with a filmmaking background, my first videos were not good. Today, I think of them as part of the learning process. We'll break down my story structure further in a future lesson.